Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this interview, I spoke to Fore Koitza. He has a very extensive career playing in French and winning the French national title, playing in England, playing in Turkey and winning the Turkish league. So this is a guy that has been playing professional football at a highest level for many years. There's a lot to learn from him. And in this video, he shows some key things that help him achieve his highest potential and achieve all of those incredible things. If you're interested in knowing what it takes to achieve the highest level or what can help you to achieve the highest level and how mental preparation can help you do just that, this video is going to talk about this. So let's get into it. Okay, so first question, how long do you know how long we've been working together? It's been, I will say, like uh, one season now. One season and a half. Yeah, it's been a while, I think. We began on February last year, so almost... February uh, or a little bit in January? I think it was February last year. Okay, I will say one season, full season. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, bro, give us a bit of your story before we started working together. Where were you before you before we started? Uh, professionally, you mean? Yeah, professionally and also in terms of what you were struggling with, what are the things you were looking for? Uh, yeah, I was in Trabzon. Um, I was in Trabzon after winning league. Uh, I won the title with Trabzon and didn't have so many playing time, but we won the league. It was a successful season um, collectively, but uh, personally was not the best. I was expecting a lot from this uh, move. I was expecting a lot from this move to Trabzon, but it didn't happen the way I want personally. Um, so I was a little bit frustrated, mix of emotion, being happy to have one more title in your in your record, but at the same time I I was not able to to put on the on the game the way I wanted. So it was a mix uh, mix experience, and uh, I was trying to find myself back with the confidence and stuff. And I was looking all over the place to try to find, but I couldn't. So. You know, I believe in God also, and everything happened for a reason. And um, everything everything happened for a reason. And I start to to look to to this mental side, try to to um, to see what can help me to to get rid of the bad memories and try to focus on what I can improve and trying to help me uh, mentally more than physically. And I tried to look in Instagram and in, uh, YouTube some videos, uh, and I found you, and I text you, and. Uh, and then the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, it's been a good journey. Yeah, yeah. What would you say were the best results you got since we started working together? I mean, like it's the personal feeling that you had, uh, how prepared the game. Even I was, uh, I had a lot of experience uh, according to my age, but um, I was able to to see different, to to find myself like in the focus in different can reduce the stress uh, trying to focus on what is necessary to focus on and i think he, he helped me to see the games in a different way and um i was like uh, not sad but uh, uh i would love to to found it before more early in my career but everything is okay you know now and and I hope to improve. There is still room for improvement. I don't say that I reached the highest level, but I can say I'm in the on the process to to get uh, to get good hopefully. That's good, bro. Yeah, everything happens at the right time. So, in terms of performance, did it change in any way for you, or was it mostly out of the patch that it has helped you? No, it was like uh, the this transition. I went through a two and a half very difficult difficult season with an injury, with the doubt and everything. And it helped me to, to focus and to, to really come back in my performance. It helped me physically and uh, mentally. And I get less injured and I perform, you know, I perform and I really see the result. Of course, you're not going to see it after two and three months, but in the long process, in the process, you you, you start to see the result. And then I'm seeing it now. I feel more strong. I feel more free. And even help you for your daily life. This is important also. That's great, bro. That's great. Mm -hmm. What were the the main challenges you face along the way during this process? My, the, the more uh, challenging thing was to to keep discipline in the in the exercise that you you gave to me. 
because you know football is a mental stuff and psychology play a huge part in in the way you want to put on the walks after football because most of the time you know when you as a football player you more focus on what you're gonna do on the training physically or in the training with the team but uh, you re- most of the football players or athletes elite athletes forget that is a huge part um, on the mental side so the exercise that you give me the, all the meditation or you know the visualization the hypnosis all these kind of stuff you need to be um, dedicated you need to be uh, willing to put on works and this was the more challenging but when you get uh, uh, you get used to it it's not even a work is a is a is a routine daily routine that you you add to your own routine and is is become a, a part of you yeah yeah it becomes more automatic and easier to stick to right yeah yeah how is your routine like like how long does it take you daily or weekly to do all this mental training that we set out me for me every morning is like 10 minute meditation starting your day with 10 minute my meditation uh, every day and then uh, working on your breath is breathing uh, breathing technique during the training when you miss uh, this this is a kind of thing that you cannot say how many time you're gonna use it but you prepare yourself for the training either missing or either scoring to try to keep um, cold and try to keep a really in the same zone in the same same zone so this this is something that uh, i'm working every day during my practices and then the meditation and the, the before the game you try to come inside your visualization trying to see how you're gonna perform try to put yourself in the match game and trying to reproduce what could happen in the game that's great bro that's great out of all of the tools that we ever used which one do you think which one is your favorite the hypnosis meditation the mindset changes like focusing on work and control focusing on the process what do you think has helped you the most i would say two things i would say meditation because this is the meditation it puts you in the flow in the flow zone because if you start only on the hypnosis and you you get you you forget the meditation it will be difficult because uh, if you don't use to get focused to, to, to really go in the deep meditation, you cannot be focused. It will be really more difficult to be focused on the hypnosis. So to put yourself and your brain, is, as I learned, you know, the brain is a kind of muscle. muscle and uh, you need to, to work on it and to make him, uh, you know, to make him memorize what he is supposed to do. So using the meditation and the hypnosis was the the two biggest um changing game for me that's great bro that's great and you as uh, a striker the main goal is obviously always to score goals mm. and you are coming from three games in a row scoring mm. goals mm. what would you say for a striker that's struggling to to score goals and one thing that has helped you in the last games that you would recommend for somebody in a similar position uh trying to um trying to uh to keep this uh, um this line trying to don't get too um worried when you are not scoring and really trying to focus on the process uh, it's really uh, easy everybody's talking about process but it's really the the most important thing as a striker you know we we get recognized uh, we, we we get recognized by uh, the number that you put by the statistic and as a striker you feel happy when you score a goal and when you do, you are not scoring goal you get more emotional uh you think you think more so you hesitate more so everything uh, is a circle is the bad circle that you get uh, used to it and it can be uh, very difficult but when you focus on the process you f- focus on the what you can control and put the work together you make everything that you can control and then the rest uh you leave it to uh you leave it to me for myself you leave it to god you know because you put everything 
But when you make the, the, the work, as we said, and as we do, I think for most of the people, for the biggest players on in the world, they, they are really strong mentally. They really, you know, either they score three or they miss three clear chances. They never get uh, distracted. They are always called really, um, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's very important and hard to, to do because it's hard not to get too excited with the results and at the same time hard to get not get sad when things yeah. are not going right. Okay, bro, two, two more questions. If someone is on the fence about starting to work on their mental side, a football player is on the fence, if they start doing the mental work, if they start working with us, what would you tell them? I will tell them like definitely to start to work because this is uh, something that will really help you, not only in football. I think in your daily life, you know, as a as a human being, you face a lot of issue in your life. Nothing is only stable. You know, life is up and down. You know, it's not only football players. For sure, athletes get uh, a lot of pressure from outside. You know, because you get the pressure for the fans. You have your president. You have your coaches. So, is a sport. Is a sport. Uh, of high level is a, is, a, is a of performance so every day you judge by your performance so you are more willing to get judged by people so uh for athletes i think it's really important to have a mental style in the in the best way you know in the in the best way and this is of course some people are gifted you know strong uh, this this but even the strongest in the world the best player in the in the history you have his, his own coach, his mental coach. So, me, I always been uh, said, and I always believe that you need to get example by the best. And when I see the best using this, I say yes. He will never, he will not bring anything bad to me. He will just add something to me. So, to be the to to be the best player, to be the best version of yourself, you need to 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 put everything everything on your side to succeed. And this is part of the 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 the, the life is the part of uh, our job. Mm -hmm. Yes, bro, that's true. And it's hard to get to that point of believing so much. And it's great, bro. I'm glad you gave it to help you a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Okay, bro. Any other final thoughts you would like to say? No, I'm really happy. I'm really happy because. Uh, uh, as everything, like when you start something that you don't use to it, it's kind of surprise for you. So I'm willing to get started, and I'm really glad to meet you. Also, it was a surprise. We didn't ha we didn't have any uh, friend on in common. I just see your videos in uh, YouTube, and uh, you know, thanks to the social media today, you know, you can uh, you can reach the people that you wanted to, to talk. And I send you a message that I want to talk, and and then the rest uh, is just is just amazing that we what we've been through up, really up, and also up. And I think we are on the way up. There's still a lot of room for improvement. Season is not done yet. We have a lot of target, and hopefully we're gonna reach it. So I invite everybody, every athlete, football players, high basketball players, or anybody to to come and, and join us. In this process and this i think they will not regret yeah yeah thank you bro thank you for your words no, really appreciate no, welcome. It. no welcome brother